Thank you so much to all of you for supporting the Five Talents Christmas Big Give Appeal 2023, last year's Big Give Appeal, which was for South Sudan. And I have just come back from South Sudan. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about the impacts of your giving, which were truly profound. I met uh, women and men who were able to start businesses and therefore support their families thanks to your support. So I met a woman who set up a wonderful thriving tea and coffee selling business outside the university in the city of Wow. So she was providing tea, coffee, mandazi to the students as they uh, had breaks between their lectures. We sat there, we drank her coffee, which was delicious and heard all about how she'd grown the business. She'd taken a loan, first of all, to buy some inputs and then she'd taken another loan to hire some chairs so that people would have somewhere to sit. And now she was employing another woman to run the business with her as well and that meant she could educate her children and support the whole family. We met another woman as well who was one of 20 wives so of course the husband was not able to support uh, all of those women so she had set up a small business to support herself. First of all she bought three goats and then with the profits from that she was able to buy a bull and then she invested in some land to, to till uh, and very finally she had been able to start a shop so she too has been able to uh, boost her income and support her family thanks to her savings group, thanks to your support for providing the training uh, in the first place for that. But in South Sudan, the impacts go, go even beyond the saving and loaning and the business skills training. I met some women, several women, in fact, who had returned from war in Sudan. So they were South Sudanese women. They'd fled to Sudan when the war in South Sudan was bad. And now because of the war in Sudan, they had come back to South Sudan, but they'd left their homes behind. They'd left their businesses behind. One woman, she said she used to have a restaurant in Sudan, but she lived near where the war broke out there. She was actually shot in the crossfire. We saw the, the wound on her leg, awful, awful wound. And her husband was shot and killed in the crossfire as well. So her children put her on a donkey because she couldn't walk and they all walked, the rest of them walked back to South Sudan. She was there in South Sudan with, with nothing at all. She'd lost everything. And she said a local savings group came to her, they spoke to her, they offered to help her, they took her in. So that means she has been able to restart a business right now. She's taken a small loan and she's selling ground nuts, but she has ambitions to start a restaurant again uh, back in South Sudan. But she said the most important thing for her was that the group came and spoke to her. She was feeling understandably very depressed, very traumatized by what she'd been through. And the group came and spoke to her. The social support, the fellowship that they offered meant that she felt able to face life again. And we met another group and their whole village had been raided, destroyed, burnt uh, by another community who had come for, for some cattle raiding. Um, they had lost absolutely everything. Everything had been burnt down. But this group had been through the Five Talents Partners trauma healing training and peace building training. And they decided rather than retaliating, rather than going on a revenge attack, they would make peace with that other community. And that's exactly what they did. So now those two communities from different ethnic groups are working together uh, on a project to rebuild the local church actually. Um, so that sign of how savings groups can be a vehicle of peace building, of reconciliation, of support for refugees, as well as all the impacts on families now able to support themselves through through starting business businesses was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for your support in making all of those impacts possible.